Well, uh, my name is uh, Miriam Frankel. I'm a, a teacher, a professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Um, my main research topic is the Cairo Geniza, and I'm especially interested in the, um, in the place Jews took in the Middle Ages in, a, in an Islamic um, in an Islamic environment, let us see, within a, a, a Muslim culture. Um, well, it's not so much the relations between Jews and Muslims, but really the way the Jews could integrate or actually be a part, an indispensable part of the whole, of the whole society, of the whole, I would call it Islamicate culture, Islamicate civiliz civilization. The Cairo Gniza, um, it's a very uh, large uh, collection, or several collections of Jewish manuscripts, uh, which were found in a synagogue, in the Ben Ezra synagogue in um, Fustat, that's an old part of Cairo, although at this time it formed a totally different place, a totally different city. And uh, it uh, accumulates, it accumulated um, ten thousands, ten thousands of um, different manuscripts, most of them written in Judeo-Arabic, that the, the language Jews used in the Middle Ages in the lands of Islam. Well, uh, first of all, as an historian, it is really a unique collection, so it's a kind of challenge to work with these, uh, these manuscripts. And of course, what interests me is, is it's not disconnected from current uh, events and current uh, policies. I am very curious about Jews in Islamic environment, in Islam, within Islamic culture, the way they operated. In a way, I agree with um, uh, Goitain, the great scholar of the Geniza, that they, Muslims, Jews and Christians, for, formed a part of, uh, an indispensable part of uh, Mediterranean society. Um, and Islam was just part of it. I mean, they shared a lot of common values, worldviews, and so on. Oh yes, <laughs> for sure, yeah. That's a, yeah, I think that's a fascinating, really, uh, area of studies beyond really the challenge of deciphering the manuscripts themselves. It really reveals a, a, a living, um, a living society, you have all kinds of day-to-day, -day, of everyday documents um, which reflect really the daily life, uh, issues of uh, gender, of economics, of uh, communication. Almost every level of life, of real life, is reflected in these uh, old documents. The most impressive, well, uh, for me, it's indeed uh, the relations between people, between human beings, um, the daily reflections, gender studies interest me very much, uh, materials, material culture also, which is common really to all denominations, to all religions. Uh, it also tells, tells a lot really about the real life at, uh, in the Middle Ages. Well, it's of course totally different. <laughs> Um, Jews were really a real part, an indispensable component of the Islamic hate world. Um, they were part of it in economics, in trade, um, in culture. Uh, they read the same books. I have a lot of uh, book lists, and they have really, all, they really were very familiar with the whole Islamic culture. Uh, they wrote very, very similar books uh, in, all the, in all the fields that were common at this time. Um, well, they were, of course, a diasporic part. Uh, they, they also kept a lot of uh, quite close connections with other Jewish communities in other parts of the world, including in Europe, but they really formed a part and, uh, an organic part of the of the Islamic world, especially in Egypt, but not only. <laughs>